Hi, I'm Sean Humphreys, Director of Instruction here at the Cowboys Golf Club. I'm on the 13th hole and you know what, I've hit my ball awry and I found myself here on a hard pan lie or a tight lie. I want you to hear this. It's like hitting off a rock. This is kind of near and dear to my heart, being from Oklahoma, played, I grew up playing on hard pan. But what we want to do is be able to put a process together so that you can hit this shot and execute it the way that you want. Most players have a tendency to try to lift the ball off of this lie, but you can't get the club underneath it. So what you want to have is, is if you take a look at it here, you want the club, imagine my hand here being real tight. You want this club coming down and catching the leading edge almost to where it's kind of scraping the ground. You don't want it bouncing in. You want to create a little bit of a forward shaft lean that causes the club to dig in just a little bit. And when we set up to it, we want to have our ball positioned just a little bit left of our belt buckle. And as I lean into it, my sternum leans with my body and my forward shaft lean is here a little bit in front of the ball. When I come into impact, I'm holding this angle and keeping it really firm and adding speed as I go through. So when I make contact, I'm holding the angle and adding speed. Remember, you've got to add speed to this shot. So as we set up to it, I'm gonna take a couple practice strokes, lean into the left side, forward shaft lean, hinge the wrist a couple times, speed, hinge, speed, hold that angle. You can see how that dirt's flying up. Now that I've got the club bottoming out in the same spot every time, I'm ready to go. Don't be afraid of these shots. Execute it, get your ball position right, get your forward shaft lean, get the hinge. Don't be afraid to get that club to scrape the ground and pop this hard pan right here, and you will have some success with it. Good luck.